Hello, this is Four Leaf, and yes, I know, I, I'm in the past, I did not make a past update video yet, but I will soon. One of the very few videos that I'm going to be talking in, um, this video is a video on how to catch ring neck snakes. One ring neck snake in particular, because I know there's not... I don't think there's a tutorial out there for it, so I'm just going to do a tutorial on this because I know that it might be frustrating to find one, and um, they're one of the very ni few nice snakes out there because they don't bite, so I'm just going to do a tutorial on this because I think a lot of you would really like this. So, let's go ahead and get into the title. First off, um, you have to know if there's actually a ring neck in your air, if there's ring necks in your area. And once you know that, you have to know all the different snakes that are in your area, in your country or zone or state or whatever. You have to know what types of snakes there are, so you don't get yourself bit by a, where is it? There's a copperhead, but there's not a copperhead there. So, that's the um, first step. And if there's no ring neck snakes in your area, then skip this tutorial. And okay, now once you have educated yourself about the different types of snakes in your area and what they are and what they do, and if there is a ring neck in your area, if there is a ring neck in your area, I mean, if there are ring necks in your area, then what you should do is. You should first go inside your woods if you have any, or where you saw ring necks, and just look around. Just look around. And then you should start a little hurt, just like lift up small rocks and stuff, and for about 30 minutes. So, here I'll show you. Go to the area. Make sure, make sure to stay away from the venomous and poisonous snakes that you do not want. Lift up rocks, see if you can find any. Got lucky there. Area for ring neck snakes. 30 minutes. What you should do is just lift up small rocks. Small rocks, they are under small ish rocks not they could be under 10 or something and then just search around there for a while there's bugs in there just keep searching until you, if you do find one if you do find one then hey you're already good to go well not really but, if you do find one, then hey, good for you. But if you don't, then this is where this tutorial comes into play. Okay, and let's say you got unlucky and you didn't find any. That doesn't mean there's none out there. That just means they're in, in a different area. So, you, so, look around your surroundings. Look around your path or woods area or wherever you are in. And look around. Go to different areas and zones, and then look under rocks in there. Remember, don't get bit. And if there's any, like, old rundown buildings or garages like that thing over there. Um, if there's any, like, rundown scrap piles. Or broken sheds, broken barns that nobody uses or goes inside. More than likely, they're going to be in there, so. They're going to be in areas like that. Here we are. We're going to be in areas like these. Now, I already found one this morning. It was little. I think it was a baby. But just remember, definitely in this area, not, not lift, out, lift over big things. Only with, if you have someone with your help or... A snake stick because 
You don't want you get bit by a copperhead or any other snake that you don't like. And you should be good to go. If there is a shed in your area, this is where they're going to be at. Alright? They're going to be in here. Don't look in your woods anymore. If there's a shed nearby that's run down, don't look in your woods. Because they're in here. Trust me. If it's run, it's if it's a run down place, no people are in it half the time. They're gonna be in here. And what if you say, "Well, for leaf, there is no snake, there is no garage or whatever," and I still can't not find a ringneck snake. Just keep on looking. If that's the case, then you just keep on looking different zones. Maybe there is a garage somewhere and didn't find it. But if there truly isn't, then. Just keep looking them around. Remember, keep looking in summertime, springtime, you, those times where snakes are out mostly. And just look under stuff. Keep in mind poison snake, copperhead and stuff. Just keep on looking under stuff. I mean, of course, I'm not going to find anything because I have a rundown garage right there. And they're all in there. So if you happen to have some woods nearby and stuff, and just look in them, and if you're not there, then you go deeper into the woods. I know you're you're actually going to have to put in some hard work and effort into this. It's not like just lift over one log and then you'll find it. Trust me, you're going to have to put in hard work and effort. Trust me, just stay determined, alright? Because herping is not easy. It might seem easy, but... You're never going to find a snake all the time. Alright. Just keep on looking, searching in the woods. And if you can't find them in this wood, if you can't find them in your woods that you're searching in, then go to a different side of the woods. And keep on going different sides. Make sure the woods are not, make sure the forest or area is not polluted. Because you don't like that. And search like near ponds and under rocks and stuff keep in mind the venomous snakes so if you can't find one and if there's no sheds or garages out there keep look searching in the woods forest area like this search under stuff like that but watch out for venomous snakes because that's that's something okay, else so let's say you have a garage or shed or run down scrap pile or something and in the middle of your wood area and yes this is the same video that I talked in before it's the same area um so let's say you happen to have that you happen to come across this well look in here but this is more dangerous in the woods for me at least because well there's no mountain lions in this area but well, there is, but rare occasions. Because this, this is very, very dangerous. There's wasps, bees, and all the reptiles are squeezed into one area. So there's could be copperheads, anything over here, lizards, snakes, frogs. I've seen all of them, except the copperhead, because I'm not I'm not stupid enough to lift up. Big huge pieces of tin if I'm looking for a ring neck. Just keep in mind, look around. Wasps are out at this time of day. Sun up there. So if you're in the garage, you have to be, well, for me at least anyway, you have to be way more precautious and aware and sensitive about stuff because this is place is dangerous. And a copperhead could sneak up behind you when you're looking for a ring neck in here. It's bad. Alright, it's bad. Okay, so what you should do to look for ring necks in here is um, wear boots. These are not boots. This is a bad. Don't wear these. Wear boots, please. Wear boots wherever you go in the woods, too. Be very precautious. Look around you. Make sure no boss are trying to get on you. And then. Go in here, just lift up things at the entrance first, see if you can find them. 
I don't think I'll find one in this video. Nah, but just lift up the big objects and stuff first. No, I mean lift up the small objects, not the big, don't do that. Lift up the small, small. If you lift up big, you might find yourself a copperhead or other venomous snake. Alright. I don't think I'm going to find one in this video anyways, because I already found one this morning, but... You understand, right? Just keep on lifting up pieces of wood and stuff in there. And, um... Just keep on lifting up things. Lift up, lift up, lift up, you know. You know the drill by now. Just lift up. Don't lift up big things. Don't lift up stuff like... Um, uh, I don't know if you can see that, that huge piece of tin in there. Don't lift that up. If you do, then be very, very careful because big snakes, bad, like, aggressive snakes, like, if you lift up that big piece of wood right there, aggressive snakes could be under there, but along with a lot of ringnecks, probably, too. So, it's like a risk. A high risk for a high reward, all right? And I don't do that. I only take the small chances. Because I don't feel like getting bit. <laughs> really, I don't. I came across snakes that could bite before, and I don't like them to get away from me. Okay? So, if you're in a garage, you have to be super cautious. Alright, and just keep on looking under small things, and then I'm certain you'll find one soon ahead. You'll even find other animals and reptiles in there, too. So, that's mostly I have for the garage. If you're in the, if you're, if you're a garage, keep safe, alright? Because, I don't know if you can hear this in video, but, there's gunshots in the background, but I don't care about that. But, there's all sorts of wood bees, bees, all this stuff. I don't have to worry about the wood bees, mostly wasps. All sorts of stuff in here, alright? So just leave, keep on lifting up stuff, looking in barrels, but stay far away just in case there is a big snake under there, alright? Keep lifting them up, and I'm sure you'll find one. I think I think I scared them off in the morning, so I don't, I don't think I could find one anymore. I found one in the morning, but... Um, maybe there's something under here. No, there's a frog. Nope, there's a frog. He was too fast for the camera to pick up, though. But just keep on lifting him up, and I'm sure you'll find one somewhere. But I'm not going to spend an hour trying to herping for this. Because I came out, just come out. In like the mornings where the wasps aren't out all the time and the bees. And it came out in, in the wrong time of day for this. So yeah, that's the garage. Just keep safe and keep looking. Stay determined. Alright, so let's say you did come across a ring net. You came across a ring net. They aren't very fast. I mean, they're agile, but not fast, alright? They're like, all right. They're they're not that fast, but say cucumber smells like a copperhead, but I don't know about that. If you're in a small space, sure. They're if they run away, they're gonna run away and try to go under something. <laughs> All right, they're gonna try to go under something because Renex gonna try to go under something very fastly. All right, so just keep an eye. If you lift up a log, this isn't big enough, but lift up something, see a ring neck. Best thing to do is if you see a ring neck and he starts running, then sorry. If he starts running like this way, then try to block your hand over there, and he won't go near your hand. But if he does go near your hand, and his head gets like right here, then like, slowly cuff your hand 
like this and his tail and stuff should follow under it. This is an old trick, a very very old trick that I used, many other people use. And then if you cuff him, cuff him up in your hand like this, don't let him escape. Wait a while, like 10 seconds or so, or 5 seconds. Lift back up your hand and then they'll be in a coil. A very, very strong coil. And then, get away. And then, what you should do after then on is... Pick up one side of their coil, like, try to get your fingers in between it. Hold on. And then, like, pick up one... Like, if they're in the coil... And pick up one side of the snake and then quickly but not too quickly to tear the snake put it in your hand and then and then he should like stay on your hand for a little bit and then he'll try to run off he'll try to run off and then just keep on like doing this and then lifting him up and then doing this you know like the little thing you do with like spiders or something just keep on doing this until he calms down. And then he'll calm down and then... Well, you got yourself a ring neck, but it's best to keep the cup around to catch him. But that's what happens if they just run off from the log and you just do that. But if they're like stationary under the log, if they actually stay there. Then what you should do is do this anyways. Con try to calm them down and then. Do the same method, pick him up, and then place him in the other hand, and keep on cycling between, and then he'll eventually calm down, and there. Just make sure he does not run off and under anything else, otherwise you're going to have yourself a very tedious little snake. And try not to scare him too much, try not to scare him too much, otherwise he will, he will not like that, he'll get faster and... You might even, if you scare him a lot, a lot, a lot, if you provoke him a lot, then he'll try to bite you. I mean, sure he can't bite you, but if he does bite you, it's not dangerous, unless you're allergic. But very rarely, I don't, hardly, no, hardly even re bite, alright? That was not good grammar, but I'm just saying if, if you're calm and gentle, the ring neck will not bite you. I mean, don't shake. I mean, I know you might be excited like I was in that one video, but if you shake, you, you can tell if a ringneck is mad at you. If he curls up his tail into a corkscrew, he's trying to ward you off, and that means he's really bad at you. And then he'll start to get faster, and if you keep on messing with him, he'll try to bite you. He might... He won't, probably won't succeed, succeed, but if he does succeed, it's alright, you don't worry. They have a, they said they have a mild toxic in their saliva or something like that. It, it kind of hurts, but I think it kind of hurts. I haven't been bitten by one, just to show you like that. They're not dangerous, alright. They're not poisonous, it just... Just don't mess with them a lot, alright? Just be very gentle. Don't fumble around with them. It's best to have a cup so you can put them in. So if you're trying to take them somewhere, you're, you don't have to like look down at them and then, you know, keep on walking well and do that same. Do that same pattern to calming down. And, um, depending on the type of ringneck snake, 
is very important actually because if he's like an eastern or southern i think the eastern or northern i think is the most calmest ring that sank and then the southern is the most like i wouldn't say aggressive but aggressive like the most I don't know what the word, but the most, if you meant, the most, I don't know, the most tedious, yeah, the most tedious. And, just be wary about the corkscrew in their tail, if they do the corkscrew, like the swirly corkscrew, and that means you made him mad, and they, he really does not like you now. So, just be very gentle with him, don't. Don't fumble even though you're excited. Just try to calm yourself down and then he should not he shouldn't do anything. And just in case you don't know, I'll teach you how to pick up a ring next thing. You don't pick them up like by the tail or anything. You don't pick them up like this. Only for a little bit, just to put him in in your other hand. But you don't want to hold him like this. You don't want to handle him like this. You wanna like like, put him in your hand a bit, cuff him in your hand like this, and then, like, toggle between hands, hands with him, because he'll try to go down and escape, and then you gotta calm him down. Just remember that. You gotta calm him, well, not like this, just, here, I don't have a ring that sank on me, but he'll just try to go off your hand, and then you gotta funnel him into your other hand and then he'll try to slither off your, your other hand and then do that then he'll eventually calm down unless you made him very mad so handling a ring neck snake is pretty easy um but uh just don't make too swift movements and you shouldn't worry but the hard part for me was finding one now Remember what I said about them, and if you, get off me, sorry, and if you come across like this, be very wary of poison snakes like copperheads, like, you know, like, do something like this, put your foot, and you should have a snake sick, and then just lift up the metal like that, I'm not gonna lift it up now, just in case there is something under there, but you know what I mean, and, um, that was an anthill, and it attacked me. Very, very rarely ring, are ringnecks above the sur on the surface. I found ringnecks. Under stuff. I found one ringneck on the surface. He was like right here. He ran off that towards that direction. And it, he ran into this little hole dip thingy. I picked him up and then just put him, like got him off the path. You want know, to be gentle with him. And like, very rarely are they, listen, if you can find snails and slugs and stuff, that's usually where a ringneck would be because they eat that kind of stuff. And worms. Just like, think of ringnecks of like a very rare worm that you have to do more, like a very rare worm or slug or snail that you have to do more stuff in order to find them and get to them. And the biggest ringneck I've ever seen was actually in the video, was actually in the friendliness, friendliest ringneck handling ever. Um, I put I put a link in the description of, on it on the video so you can watch it and how to handle it. Just make sure not to step on them and never ever ever put a ring neck in the grass because he can burrow. He can get under the gla grass and you'll never find him. Trust me, I did it before. It's not a very good feeling, <laughs> to say the least, but. You should not 
you should not set him down in the grass if you're trying to, you know, like trying to look at him or examine him or play with him or something like that. Only let him go, let him go where you found him so he can, you know, um, repopulate the runette stuff. Don't let him go in the grass, otherwise he might die. And plus you'll never find him again. And, um, marine necks are one of the most common snakes around here. I don't know about your area, but around here they're one of the most common snakes in many areas too. Probably except Antarctica or something like that. Or North Pole or something like that, but... You trust me. Marine necks are mostly found in North America and South America. And just stuff like that. I don't know. They're mostly found in North America and South America. That's all I really know where to find them at. I mean, clearly I'm in one of those two countries, but I'm not going to tell you which one. <laughs> no, you already know from one of the videos, don't you? But I just don't want to... Oh, look. And yes, of course, you can use traps to catch ringnecks if you want to, like sticky traps or whatever. But keep in mind that other snakes might get in there too. And even th things are different from snakes. So traps. This is a tutorial um, how to find and catch them. You can catch them with a trap if you want. But this tutorial is mostly by hand. So yeah, you know. But um, I think that's mostly it for this tutorial. If you can't find a ring net, then just repeat these steps and processes. And if you can't find a ring net, then just go to different areas. And if you still cannot find one, then I'm very sorry, but maybe there's not a ring neck in your area. Unless you've actually seen one there. So, cut to the outro. Bye.